So in a previous video, we looked at an input-output matrix, energy, raw materials, manufactured goods, and we said that to create one of them, we need a bunch of the other ones. We can put this complex interplay into a matrix called a consumption matrix. So the way that a consumption matrix is going to look, yeah, for this particular one, it would be a three by three matrix. Now we've got, um, it would be energy, it would be raw materials, and it would be uh, manufactured goods along the top here. And uh, along the right hand side, energy, raw materials, manufactured goods. So that's how these um, columns and these rows are set up, first of all. Now, if I put the number, actually, I'll just fill the whole thing out. So now we have this filled out. Let's uh, interpret this. If I use, let's use this one as an example. So the way to interpret this is to create one unit of energy. So that's the thing up here. To create one unit of this would take 0 0.4 units of raw materials. And we can go through all of this in the same way. So if I choose this one, um, to create one unit of manufactured goods, it takes 0 0.3 units of energy. Uh, if I go down the diagonal here, I can say to create 0 0.2, oh, sorry, to create one unit of energy, it takes 0 0.2 units of energy. To create uh, one unit of raw materials, it, create, it requires 0 0.1 units of raw materials. Uh, so that's how you read it. All of these are singular units, one unit, one unit, one unit, and to create one of these units, use this amount of that unit. So I'll just put a little arrow in. You read this from here to here, from here to here in that direction. That is a consumption matrix.